Here we are, back on the air again. Solid run Qbox i4 Pro. We do a four disc pro touch screen demo. We got Android, Debian, Geeksbox, Ubuntu, 64 gig, 64 gig, 32 gig, 32 gig. All been installed and expanded. Installation using the Windows Disk Imaging Tool and expansion using Notebook Session Departed. <coughs> we have nice little cloth HDMI cable, different than the one I had tied in a knot. Here's an Android display. It has Android and ARM running inside, but it also has an HDMI input, which lets me input and use the display for the key box. So we'll plug in. Notice how the mouse is not attached. We got the keyboard here with a power switch. It's essential. We plug in the keyboard. Plug in the touch screen display connection. And we'll start with Android. Turn him over, conductors up, straight edge down, goes along the center line of the cue box. Goes in nice and comfortably. And we're ready to go. OSD, HDMI, plug it in. A few seconds later it boots Android. Android takes about four seconds to come up with the original screen. The others only two, so that must be a SPL U-boot, Netboot U-boot thing or something. So here we are going into Android. We should see the Android there is the logo. And we have Qbox i4 Pro. Booting Android. No, it's not upgrading. There's no network attached here. We're just demonstrating the touch functionality. Which, if you'll see here, the mouse follows my finger. Got this guy. Move him over. Move him back. Unlock. And we're in. Android apps. Back to the main page. Now, how do you leave here? How do you turn it off? There is no turn off in the GUI itself because Androids always get turned off by a little on-off switch on the Android itself. This doesn't have that. Well, we got an on-off switch here on the keyboard. Soft, of course. You hit it once, she goes to sleep. You wake it back up here. Hit it for a long time, brings up this dialogue, power off, airplane mode, silent mode. Getting to this dialogue any other way, I don't know of any other way. So you guys, running Android, would do good to have a keyboard with a power switch. Power off. Android is shutting off. This will stop moving, it will stop tracking my cursor, and everything will freeze, but this screen will stay up. I guess it's the last frame buffer in the video memory here. So here we are frozen. I don't know if anything shutting down is still going on in the background or nothing. It would be nice to know little tidbits like that. But I'm pretty sure that we are off. Next distro. Unplug it. Android will pop back up on this display. Neat little trick nobody posted about I noticed. To remove your stick, you take another stick, face up, with the epoxy facing up. It's got a nice little grittiness to it. It'll pry out the other stick, no problem. No tweezers needed. Just stick that guy in there and get a little pry and out they come. Next distro is Debian. Get OSD, HDMI. It comes up two seconds flat. Bink! There it is. Pitch why not fit?
And we're in Debian. made the font really big in hopes that you guys would be able to see it but you really can't with the fixed camera on the tripod. If I had the camera in my hand and was moving around and showing you all this then things would be closer and more in focus but then I'd have to do all my memory sticks and all that stuff with one hand which I can do but it's not a joy. So here we are you name Dirty161 December 31st so it's the Debian Jesse build. It recognizes touch. Right out of the box. Shut down. And we'll go to a halting condition here. System Holland. And that's Debian with touch on a few box. There we are. Geeks box. This build is from yesterday. The com compilation of the kernel was the 17th, just a few days ago. It boots up pretty quickly. Blink. VHCI. And we should see a blinking cursor and then we'll see the Geekbox login while it's still doing its auto load thing. Cursor. There's that. A few seconds later, we'll see Geekbox here. It's typical XBMC boot up. Oh, it says Arm Devel. Geekbox Media Center. And win. Pulse 8 CEC adapter. Videos, music, programs. System. System info. XBMC 13 Alpha 11 Git compiled February 17th. Everything's there. Four processors. Move the cursor around. One of the processors goes to a higher percentage, but the rest are fine. doesn't like the double click. Almost has to be faster than mouse double click. I don't know what's going on there. So, three up, three down. With touch, no problem. Got a frozen cursor here. I think we're uh, halted. It'd be nice to know, but I'm relatively certain. And finally, Ubuntu. Only because they were alphabetically placed. Hit on screen display. 
display, HDMI. This one comes out fairly quickly. And we should see the purple Unity screen. Or actually, it's gray! Oh no, that's not a Bluetooth! It's gray! Ooh, no, it's purple! Purple. This is Ubuntu. Down here is the menu. And here we have Ubuntu. Tell it to shut down, and it doesn't. It brings up the login screen perpetually. See? So the way to shut this one down, you gotta go to a console, login. And then tell it to shut down. halt it since it doesn't seem to want to shut down. And that's four distros. Four up, four down. Keybox I, all running touch, all passing sound through the HDMI and out on an eighth inch jack.